Welcome back to the Witchy Web We Weave. I'm Alex. I'm Laura. And today we are talking about birthday magic. I have a birthday here coming up soon, and Laura's is also here in a couple months. So I thought this was kind of a, a good kind of thing to bring up, and I was just kind of... I was doing my own little research, and I couldn't find anything in particular, and I feel like... I feel like birthday magic should be a thing that people talk about, because I feel like... It's an important day, like, as far as, like, your calendar of life, your wheel of time, as far as your cycles and stuff. Yeah, we put a lot of emphasis on our birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just kind of have, a, like, a little page of notes, and we're just gonna kind of wiggle through and see what happens. This is mostly her brainchild, <laughs> so I may be moderately silent this We'll see. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Normally, I, I end up, I start out thinking I'm not gonna say anything, and then I end up talking. You got stuff to say eventually. <laughs> eventually, maybe. Um, so the first thing that I really thought of that we've kind of touched a little bit on before and I feel like I should have found more information on but I didn't find anything on concretely was candles mm. on your birthday cake or your I like pie so the last couple years I've been doing a birthday pie instead of birthday cake but whatever some kind of pastry with flames on it right <laughs> so looking at it as a very you know looking back on it when you were a kid you're probably wishing for crazy stuff. I don't know. I I don't really remember what I wished for a lot back then, but I feel like a lot of kids wish for, you know, maybe they wish for a pony or they wish for something that's just, it's a possibility, but it's just so out there in the realm of possibilities that it's kind of a little more fantastical in a way. Um, or maybe like when you were younger, you wished, oh, I hope I get this toy or I hope I get this present later, you know, like mm -hmm. more materialistic things. Um, as an adult, I was seeing another way to kind of use wish magic, birthday magic was wish for, like, have kind of like a thing in mind because you know when your birthday is and if you're not celebrating on the day, you kind of have like an idea of when you're going to celebrate. Like if you do celebrate it with friends, family, and say, you know, like your birthday's in the middle of the week and no one can make it because they all work and you're doing it the following weekend or the previous weekend, whatever. But have something kind of in mind, like even if it's, I don't know, um... Like, if you're looking for a new job or something, when you blow that intention, yeah, I think a lot of times people are like, oh, when you blow out a candle, that's bad for it. Yeah. But I think magic candles are, or birthday candles are a little different because you're blowing it out to kind of send it out into the universe. Yeah. Kind of like a, a dandelion. Mm -hmm. Blowing. Mm-hmm. Same kind of thing. Blowing so I was wish. thinking, like, so say, you know, you're looking for a new job, and you blow out the candle, you know, I wish for a new job, whew, there goes the smoke, right? You can then take that candle and use it in later workings yes. for a job. So if you're doing a, a prosperity bowl or you're doing like a like a magic bag, mojo bag kind of stuff, you can tuck it in there if it's small enough. Um, you know, other workings and that kind of energy is already there starting it. And then you add whatever you're gonna add, stones, oils, herbs, what have you, and then go on your merry way. So I thought that was kind of a... Yeah, and actually we were talking about like like um blowing a like blowing a wish onto a birthday candle or a dandelion another it made me think of like blowing a kiss mm -hmm. so yep if you're looking for a romance on your birthday mm -hmm. <laughs> um, looking at my notes i'm sorry <laughs> um the next thing i thought was it's good um, so I have some stuff for if you're celebrating with people and some stuff if you're celebrating on the solo. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you're celebrating with friends, family, either or, whichever, kind of like, I don't know how to really explain this, but like kind of like encapsulate that kind of feeling you have on that day. Because most of the time if you're celebrating with friends and family, it's a good day, it's a happy moment, it's a good occasion. Yeah, drama can happen, I've had enough drama happen during celebrations that I know it happens. But for the most part, it's a pretty positive experience, so, you know, maybe you can't see your friends all the time, or you, you have people from out of town coming in to see you for your birthday or something. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, that joy or that happiness you feel kind of like, you can kind of recall on it later on. Like, so if you're trying to do, like, happiness magic or workings, you can kind of be like, oh, I felt that joy that day, and kind of just recall it into your being. See, whenever I had <coughs> gatherings for my birthday, it always had a feeling of community. Mm-hmm. Same. 
So yeah, so community, happiness, like I was just thinking like good feelings yeah. in general. So if you were looking for community work or, you know, like expression work, stuff like that, it'd be a good thing to kind of just have that energy with you um, to work in other workings. I feel like for birthday magic also, um, I'm sh wait, are you going to talk about like the cake and everything? Because I feel like with... With birthdays in particular, there's normally, you mentioned it, there's a cake or some kind of pastry with flames, but um, even if it's not necessarily your birthday, if you are maybe making a cake for somebody, there is no reason why you can't put that intention. extra good intention, like well wishes into your, your baking with, with kitchen witchery. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah, if you're making something. And then I was going to talk about... Maybe not the cake so much, but very true, but, um, and this is for together or celebrating solo is eating things you really enjoy on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like I was thinking like, you know, a lot of people are like worried or nervous about going out alone and whatever. I'm like, I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. I do like going out with friends or family or whatever, or on a date, what have you, but I feel like it's just a good moment to, you know, if everyone else is busy or something happened where maybe move to a new town or you're just in a, in a place and time where it's not feasible to really do a big thing on your birthday, right? Mm. So check out a new restaurant that you like, you know, if you're really into like Italian food, find like a new Italian place. Or if you have an Italian place you really like, get your favorite dish there, you know, like we're very connected to taste and smell as people for the most part. So do things that day that you really enjoy, like eating what you enjoy. Um, another thing I was going to mention for people celebrating on the on the solo more than as a group. I've seen groups do it too, though, so don't count it out. Um, treating yourself to something nice that day. If you're really into spas, do a spa. If you're really into doing your nails, get a manicure, pedicure kind of deal. Um, if you're really into books, buy yourself a new book that day. Mm -hmm. You know, just something cute doesn't have to be expensive even but just do something for you that day because it is your day you know at the end of the day when people do celebrate that day that is celebrating your existence in the world and i think people kind of forget about that they're just like oh it's my birthday I happens there's just some extra mindfulness that you can bring on mm -hmm. that day to not only just look at it as your birthday but the fact that you're celebrating your existence the fact that you are still living and breathing and i think this is really important for I don't think people think about it that way a lot, that you're celebrating that you're still alive and breathing air mm -hmm. and still giving to the world. Um, and for, especially I think that's important for people with um, like mental illness that sometimes it's hard for them to remember that it's important that they exist. Mm hmm for sure. I can, I can dig it because I've had, we've, we've both had some stuff in our past and you know, stuff where it's not the happiest. Um, but yeah. Um, it's it's just one of those days where, especially, I feel like a lot of people don't like celebrating their birthday, and you know, if it's if it's something like that, maybe don't don't think of it as your birthday. If you really want to do something else, just call it something else. Like make it just a day to celebrate. Honestly, it doesn't have to be oh day of birth. You know, some people will just get wigged out. I think by it. I don't know why. I don't know. My mom is perpetually <laughs> forty five or something. Like, she stops celebrating her birthday, I think, because she doesn't like thinking about getting older. That's okay, my dad's still 29. <laughs> yeah. So, for me, instead of calling it her birthday, I just call it Mama's Day. And there you it's go. my day to appreciate her. So, kind of like a second Mother's Day. Kind of like a second Mother's Day. Yeah, I could see Except it. Except I rarely remember Mother's Day. <laughs> That's terrible. I, I know, I'm a horrible person. I can't remember, I can't remember special occasions. So yeah, the, the other little thing I was going to say about, you know, if you're going out with friends, family, solo, glam it up. Like, do something that you do. Like, you either if it's something you don't do often or that you do a lot, like, I just feel like that's a day to, like, wear your best stuff, kind of. Or just kind of, like... I feel like your birthday is the day <laughs> where your energy is the strongest. Mm -hmm. Because literally you are at the at the same point that you were born. So I feel like there are certain elements that are more Ooh. powerful that day 
than any other day of the year. So if you really need something that you need to pour your essence into spell wise, your birthday is the perfect day to make a spell that where you have to pour yourself into it mm -hmm. and make it the the embodiment of your your own signature energy because your energy is not like anyone else's mm -hmm. the only thing i could find actually on birthday magic was that some people do like to do self-love magic that day mm. and self-appreciation magic yes. that day um and i was like you know that's not a bad idea because i feel like people kind of you know there a lot of people think of like love magic is i wanted to attract somebody else or you know other magics is like about other things other people like external things and today is a good day for or your birthday is a good day for inner stuff reflection appreciation self-love stuff like mm -hmm. that so that's a good day to do that kind of magic especially um but you were just saying like your day of birth like is like a point in time that that's where you kind of and I just got like the deepest like wig moment where I was like <laughs> that's kind of when you entered the universe in a way mm -hmm. and like on a parallel stream at some point you're not there but then you're there <laughs> and I was like oh. yeah the <laughs> next like, day out a little Christ. bit I was like oh. <laughs> I was just talking about like the stars align like this moment is a mm -hmm. no I know I just I was like oh. it is your day in the most literal sense of the word mm -hmm. it is the day representing you yourself as an individual person so what better day than your birthday to make a spell that has to have basically your mark your of essence. your essence of whatever is you that makes you different than everyone else in the world mm -hmm. so if there is a one-of-a-kind spell that you need to do that's just for you that'd be a pretty good day that'd be a pretty good day Mm -hmm. Um, the last thing I was going to kind of mention is present magic, which I, I've talked about this with you before, but I am a, I don't know if it's a love language or something, but I am a gift giver person. So I take a special satisfaction. Yeah. Satisfaction in finding like unique stuff things that i know people have been wanting enjoying um you are a wonderful gift giver <laughs> thank you and i take great pride in that fact because a lot of times <laughs> even if you give something that i have never thought of it is still something that is so this is exactly what i would have wanted or this is something that you know like you you get to know the individual person and then you try to find like the perfect gift for them as a person and what they love Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I I get that. Yeah, like I like I go to Etsy, I go online, I'm on eBay. Like I look for stuff. Like a really good example is my mom had this mug for years, like I think ten years, right? Her and my dad had matching mugs. It said, um, "It's good to be queen, good to be king," mm -hmm. and it was like bright red, and then it had like the black and white kind of fur trim, but it was all ceramic, obviously. She dropped her mug shattered in a million pieces and she was really bummed and she was using dad's mug because he never used this mug he doesn't like mugs Aww. so she would just steal his mug and she was really broken up about it she was like that was my mug like she felt so terrible really? yeah because like, normally your mom just brushes everything and eh, it's just a mug. Not, like that was her one mug that she'd ever had like all oh. the mugs you've seen that they're yeah, just the white they're just mugs like that was her generic. mug Okay. So she was really bummed, and she's like, I don't even, like, I've had that for so long, there's no way, like, that same sword's gonna have it anymore, again, yeah. it's been over ten years. I remembered the brand of the mug, because it was so weird, and I looked it up, and I found the same mug, but it was a different shape, because her mug was kind of like that. Yeah. It was really weird, and she had told me at one point, she's like, it was really hard to drink out of, because it was too... Funneled. Funneled at the top, but this one was an actual mug mug. And so I found the mug and I told her, I was like, well, here you go. Like, it was for her birthday or Mother's Day yeah. or something. And she was really excited. And I was like, by the way, it's an actual mug. I couldn't find the same shape. And she was like, oh, this is even better because it's not going to spill out the sides. Yeah. So stuff like, I like doing that kind of stuff. She's you know? made me cry from, from gifts that she has given me. Like she found me my, one of my favorite books that is just, it's one of those very special books. <gasps> And it was out of print, and you couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, man, that was so much work. <laughs> but I cried when she gave it to me. 
So you can make gifts such a special thing for people on their birthday. And mm -hmm. so that's why I was yeah. like, I like mentioning this because it's, and I'm like, it's not, it is materialistic in a sense, but I'm like, man, I've had people make me stuff and I'm just as happy as if they had bought me something. Like I still have everything you've made me. <laughs> I still have my little dragon in my drawer. I think it's like eight so years old, old. <laughs> and I hand stitched it. And yeah, it's just... so I just think it's so cute. Like it went with me to Vegas. I like, came back with me. Like it's been everywhere. <laughs> so it's not about spending money necessarily. It's just kind of putting in an effort for somebody that you know you give you care about. I was about to say something a little inappropriate, but whatever. Um, but the other reason I kind of didn't really want to mention this is because outside very select people no one knows how to shop for me and anytime I open presents like it's always kind of like heartbreaking to me because yeah. like um like my family in Vegas uh keeps buying me religious books like I have multiple copies of the bible I have um a book on relationships between you your spouse and god um, I've gotten purses, and I think one time I got, like, a Taylor Swift brand purse. Yeah. And I get a lot of Victoria's Secret perfume. And see, that's, <laughs> I think that's one of the things why your gifts are so special to me, is because no one knows how to buy from me either. I always get really terrible clothes that don't fit me, or are just see? not something I would ever wear in my life. I, I get... Yeah, I get religious books. I get um, just, just really terrible. Like, I don't wear makeup, and people give me makeup. Like, that. anybody that spends 10 minutes with me will know I don't wear makeup. I don't, like, I prefer to show myself as I am to the world. And I get makeup. So, yeah, like, that's why I cry when you give me <laughs> gifts, because you are so thoughtful. And it makes me feel like someone actually got to know me, that cares about me, that my existence is, is important. So I think that's something to think about when giving gifts to other people on their birthday. I think there's a special kind of magic in finding someone something that... Yeah, even even if it's real basic, like, like this is what kind of always made me... I'm going to go on a little tangent, sorry folks. Or a tangent. I know, but... That was more important tangent. This is like totally out there tangent. Okay. So I I feel like even if you don't know how to buy for somebody, like even if they like something just super simple, like I have a cousin who collects shot glasses. Buy them a shot glass. You know, like even if it's not a fancy one, like that's something they collect. They might never open it or use it, but at least you paid attention to some detail in their life, you know. Mm -hmm. Pick something and roll with it. Like if you see them wear something a lot. You know, like, if, if you see them wear, like, a lot of shirts from a show or something, figure it out. There's something in that show you can afford, even if it's a pencil or something, man. Like, make it work. It's really not hard. But even, because I like a lot of stuff. Like, I like stuff. Like, this is what always bothered me. I'm like, you could, you could take a dart and a dart board, and as long as you hit the board, you're getting something right. You just need to look in the area of, is it cute or is it nerdy? Right? And I'm just like... It's just everyone just shoots the other wall. Like I'm just like, what's happening? But even even when there was rules to something, because in Vegas I was part of a gift exchange at work at one of my jobs, and it was a Secret Santa thing, you know. So you wrote down what you wanted. <laughs> you wrote it down, <laughs> like this, you know. Like I literally wrote down, I like Disney stuff. I wanted squishies, which. I got, I found a squishy at a 7-Eleven. Yeah. Like, they weren't hard to find. They were literally everywhere. You could go to Walmart and they had everything from like, f you know, three bucks to 15 bucks. Like, give me a three dollar one. I wasn't picky, you know? So I said, Disney, Squishies, and I forgot what the third one was. It was, again, like cartoons or something. It yeah. was like nerdy, find it in the kids aisle stuff. Like, you know, and everyone at work had kids or had some inkling of how to shop for kids. Like, literally, shop for kids. Me. That's how it works, right? I think I said pops. Pops. Or something. And, and literally, unless you got me some wild pop, you'd probably hit it right, because I like enough pops where there's diversity. Anyway, you know what I got? Mm. I got a mug. Like a standard old $3 mug with a hot chocolate in it. 
Yeah. Oh, and I got a piece of Star Wars memorabilia. Oh. But it was like a Kinder Egg. Oh. <laughs> and you know, the person I got liked, what's that brand that comes out around Christmas? Not Hickory Farms. It's like, or is it Hickory Farms? It's like the sausage. Yeah. What did they get? They got a box of sausage with some sauces. Because <laughs> that's what they wanted. They're like, I like Hickory Farms. It's all she wrote on her list. What did she get? Meat and sauce. <laughs> it's not hard. It's not hard, people. If you don't know how to shop, just just what? ask somebody. God damn. <laughs> it's not hard. And if you're really desperate, gift cards. Quite honestly, people are like, oh, but it's in person. It's not impersonal. If you don't know them well enough to get them something personal, it don't matter anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, like if I didn't know you, what's better? Gift card? Stack of makeup. Gift card. Gift card. Because I honestly don't know what the heck to buy this woman. Alright? I do, but I'm just saying, if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 10 years, I hope you would know. I'm just saying, like, if you have no clue, don't just pick a shot in the dark. Just Amazon gift card. Walmart gift card. If you know that they like clothing, some kind of clothing gift card. It's really, it's really not hard. If you're gonna go in personal, just give them some money, man. Like, it works. It's okay. I promise. If you're already that impersonal, it's not gonna offend nobody. I mm -hmm. Promise. At this point, I love getting gift cards and money from my family because they don't know what else to get me. Right? Like, are you offended? No. Exactly. We're no, not offended. I, we promise. I, I, I get more <laughs> offended if they try to give me makeup. Just because, I mean, they know me all my life. Right? It's like, oh, thanks. You think I need some makeup? I didn't wear makeup when I was a kid. I didn't wear makeup as a teenager. I don't wear makeup now. It's like, I'm not going to start. Nope. Probably not. I don't even think I'll probably wear makeup on my wedding. Oh, natural. Okay. <laughs> point is... Maybe some foundation, but that's it. <laughs> Again, point is... If you're already going so impersonal because you don't know the person well enough to shop for them, just don't give them. Yeah. They'll be happier for it, I'm sure. Anyway, long tangent over. So, it's a big day. It's an important day, whether you really like celebrating or not. If you don't like celebrating it, in the traditional sense, find something fun to do that day. Even if, you know, maybe... If, if you're part of one of those groups of friends that they don't really know each other's birthdays, they all just hang out a lot, mm -hmm. don't even bring it up. Just be like, hey, y'all, y'all want to go bowling today? Or just do something fun that day. Just do something. Um, and I was going to say, even if you're, like, an indoorsy type, like, we're hermits, you know, try to do something different that day, quite honestly. Um, even, even if it's, like, a magic that day or whatever, I would, I would just kind of... I would do something other that day, something a little more substantial. Yeah. That's gonna... normally one of the days that I actually force myself to go out and do something. Like, uh, I've taken myself to the botanical gardens for my birthday. Well, there you go. Like, yeah, if I've got the money for it, I'll take myself to the aquarium, because I love the aquarium. Well, there you go. Even if it's going out by yourself, mm -hmm. just do something that day. Celebrate you. But yeah. And that about wraps it up, you know. Got your candles, got your cake. Eat something that you like eating. Take yourself somewhere you want to go. Do something fun for yourself. Uh, if you're celebrating with friends and family, um, enjoy the time of togetherness. Yeah. You know, it's a celebration just like Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. It's another it's, day just like that. It's just prime time for, for gratitude and mindfulness. For you. For, mm -hmm. for appreciating you that you are, who you are, who you've been, who you're becoming. For the fact that you are living, breathing, and walking this earth. Yep. Good way to wrap it up. Yep. Alright, and that's our video for today. I hope y'all have enjoyed, and I hope y'all will celebrate your birthday better this year than before. Hey. <laughs> have a nice one, guys, and toodaloo. Alright.